struggle between good and evil rages on. The Decepticons are now in possession of the most powerful Minicons in the galaxy. The Earth's only chance for a peaceful cosmos is for Optimus Prime and the Autobots to destroy their enemy. Now, get ready for a new battle. Transformers. When the Decepticons aimed the Hydra Cannon at the Earth and unleashed a powerful blast, I thought it was all over for life on our planet. But there was one factor they didn't count on. Optimus Prime. Rather than watch the meaningless destruction of innocent lives, he sacrificed himself instead. Now the Autobots are left without a leader. But saddest of all, I've lost a friend. It is all over. Optimus Prime will never bother us again. <laughs> Congratulations, Megatron. Your plan was a success. <laughs> Megatron? Uh, Megatron? Yes, it's a great day for us. The Decepticons have won the final battle. <clears throat> We have defeated the Autobots. We will return to Cybertron and rule over the entire universe. Yes, sir! I'm sorry, it can't be done. Optimus's body released its spark when it blocked the Hydra Cannon's blast, and without it, there's no way we can bring him back. I wish there was some way we could, but we're just going to have to pull ourselves together and carry on without him. Yeah, but how? Optimus... He knew that he would never survive the blast from the Hydra Cannon. I know he sacrificed himself for us and everyone else on planet Earth, but I know I'm not the only one who feels lost without him. No one else on the planet ever knew of the threat that was so close to ending life on the Earth as we know it. Most people were just happy that the strange phenomenon in the sky had passed so they could go back to their old lives. But my friends and I knew different. We will never forget what Optimus did for us. He's only been gone a week, but his absence is already taking a heavy toll on everyone. The Autobots try to pretend it's business as usual, but it's obvious that the strain of losing their leader is affecting them all. Oh, man. Try and be more careful, Smokescreen. I'm trying, Red Alert, but how can I when somebody keeps messing with my tools all the time? So back off, will ya? Well, I think maybe you've cross-wired your circuits again. And just how would you know? You don't know the first thing about installing a Matrix circuit. <sighs> Sideswipe, take over for me here. Uh, yes, sir. Good idea. Those two could use a break anyway. I know. <sighs> Why are we wasting our time building this spaceship? The Decepticons are gone. They're a thousand light years away now, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's right. Ugh. Forget this, I'm out of here. Unfortunately, it looked like Hotshot was taking the demise of Optimus the hardest. Sideswipe, hmm? Uh. Jetfire! Hey, where are you hiding, Jetfire? Hey, Hotshot. Have you seen Jetfire? Oh, uh, Jetfire said he was gonna check out the Decepticons' moon base again. Man! Whoa! Something is really bothering him. Come on! Hotshot, stay here. Jetfire knows what to do. This is all your fault! Huh? You heard me. You let Starscream into our base. He saw the weapons we had and he stole them right from under us. That's how the Star Saver and the Sky Boom Shield fell into the hands of Megatron. And do you know why? Because you had to go and let Starscream join the Autobots, didn't ya? Ugh. Why did you do it, Optimus? Oh man, I yelled at him. 
I never had the right to question Optimus' leadership. Never! He was our commander. Ah, oh, poor guy. Yeah, I just hope he'll be all right. Huh? It's Jetfire! Huh? Transform! Jetfire! Huh? Come on, let's go! I want you to take me into space right now! What? We're going after those Decepticons. I'm gonna make them pay for what they did. Because I'm gonna get revenge for Optimus. You need to calm down. You've gotta let me do it! I've got to! What are you saying? A hot shot! There's nothing left of the moon base. My guess is that the Decepticons headed towards Cybertron hours ago. Planet Cybertron? I understand why you want to go after them, Hotshot. But without a proper ship, there's no way we can catch them now. I've heard enough. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You heard what I said. Listen, I know it's your job as Deputy Commander of the Autobots to make the decisions around here. But, but you can't do it. You're wrong. Right now, we have to focus on the spaceship, not revenge. He's right, brother. We're gonna need the ship finished if we're gonna catch them. Hey, quiet! <gasps> Bro? Hotshot! You two! Back off! Huh? What do you want? <sighs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Come with me. Ah! What's going on? He's done for. Hey, let me go, you big lug. Quiet. And where are we going anyway? Be quiet. I said, let go of me. Ah! I don't like the look of this. <laughs> Brad, the team is falling apart. Man, I wish Optimus was still around. Me too. Come on! The Autobots will work it out, you guys! Although, if ever there was a time that we needed Optimus, it's right now. Hey! What's up? Oh... Got him! Where? On a highway, but it's been abandoned for years. Huh? Hey, chill out! Get up and fight me! What's up, scavenger? We're friends! We are not. You are no friend of mine. Now get up! What's the matter? I thought you were angry! Well, let's see you prove it to me! Hey! Take it easy, watch out! Holy! Scavenger's really laying into him! Isn't there something we can do? Why are you doing this? We're on the same side! Ease up! You want me to ease up? Well, let's see how tough you really are, then! Huh? What do you think Optimus would do? Now show me! I know he wouldn't be pushed around by you. He would fight! Alright, I'll show you what I can do, scavenger! Here, try this! You brought this on yourself! Stop it! Oh no! It looks like Scavenger's gonna squish Hotshot! No! We have to put a stop to this! We can't! This is Hotshot's last chance to prove himself to all of us. No! You wouldn't! Quick, Jolt! You won't be so lucky next time. What's wrong? What have I done? You don't have a clue, do you? Think about it a second. I don't have time for this. Oh, yeah? <laughs> if you don't know your place in the Autobots by now, I can't help you. <laughs> This 
is definitely not the time for friends to be fighting amongst each other. Please, Jetfire, make them stop! No, not yet. Why not? Uh, do you have any idea why I left the Decepticons and came over to the Autobots? <sighs> Better money? I joined because of you! Ah! Liar! I don't believe you, scavenger! <sighs> Remember what Sideways did to you? He deceived you and sent you into that trap on the moon! I thought I was crazy to go off my own, but I had to. Yes, that complete lack of fear has served you well, Hotshot. Ow! Oh, hey, what are you talking about? There was no way you could have known that Sideways was still working with the Decepticons, yet you still went into battle. I admired that. And even though Optimus disagreed with your strategy, he would have done the same if he was in your position. Yet you had the nerve to question him when he took Starscream on our side, even though he had no other choice at the time. You were way out of line. So what? He was our leader. Yeah, I understand. I should never have said that. But I tried to tell him from the start that Starscream would double-cross a scavenger! And he did, didn't he? Yes, he did. But Optimus Prime made a decision and he stuck to it! There's no future for any of us if we get caught in a dirty fight just for revenge! What I do? I can't control these feelings inside of me! This is terrible. Hotshot is blaming himself for everything. Even what happened to Optimus? That's the reason why Hotshot's been so upset lately. He thinks that he's let everybody down. Jetfire, you gotta end this now! Scavenger knows what he's doing. I just wish you would go easy on my bro. <laughs> you don't understand any of this! My mission is to get even with the Decepticons! Listen, it's a mistake to take matters into your own hands. You understand? You'll become an outcast! Transform! Whoa! Hotshot is taking off! Hey, look! Huh? Where'd everybody go? Optimus, I wish you were here. You'd know what to do. I don't even know where I'm going. Ah! Oh, Blur, what are you doing here? You're the one who started this fight, and I'm gonna end it. Go away. Leave me alone. Go, Jolt. Go! Hotshot, come back! My brother and I are close. Let me deal with this my own way. I know what to do. What's going on? Hotshot just needs a little time to think things through. Why can't you guys just give him a break, please? Sorry, it has to be done this way now. But it's just not right. You'll just have to trust us. Sorry, bro, but I gotta do something about your bad attitude. Here goes nothing. Transform! Sideswipe? I'll shoot if I have to. Don't be ridiculous! We're on the same side! You keep saying that you want revenge for what the Decepticons did to Optimus Prime. But as usual, you've gone off on your own without even considering how the rest of us feel about it. Well, I don't need permission from you to do anything! But bro! Out of my way! This. What do you guys want? Transform! Please, leave! Stay back! You gotta help me, Optimus. Don't give up on your friends, Hotshot. They're all you've got. <sighs> Joel, take it back here! Jolt! How could you? Hotshot, you must trust the Minicons the way I did. Uh, <laughs> You're too soft to fight if the Minicons are in the way. Yes, it's coming back to me. The reason we got into this battle with the Decepticons isn't to destroy them. Our goal has always been to see our friends the Minicons live a free life. That's right. 
That's what this is all about. Of course. I can't believe the way I've been acting, you guys. I didn't realize it, but I've been fighting with you all like you were my enemies. I'm so sorry. I've been going about this whole thing wrong. I need your help, guys. All of you. I can't do this on my own. Hot shot! You are my friends. I don't want to fight with you. Any of you. I understand now. I guess I didn't realize how big an influence Optimus had on me. This has been a really big adjustment for me, but if you let me, I'd like to join the Autobots again. As, well, part of the team. I'm ready now. Let's free the Minicons like Optimus wanted us to, okay? Finally, you understand. This has been tough on all of us, Hotshot. Huh? I think this has been the toughest time the Autobots have ever gone through. Guys, you know what? This whole thing brought us closer. I know I sure feel better. Well, at least we're all on the same wavelength again. So, are we all in agreement about carrying out this mission? It's not gonna be easy. Yeah, we are. Right? Right! right. Listen, if it's alright with you guys, I'd like to forget about today, okay? You know, I just wasn't thinking straight, that's all, hmm? Forget it. We're all starting with a clean slate. In times of crisis, you can accomplish a lot more with your friends by your side than if you decide to go it alone, Hotshot. I won't forget that, Optimus, sir. Sir? Hey, the name's Jetfire. Wow, either I'm overheating or I just heard Optimus speak to me directly from the other side. Hey, that doesn't surprise me. In fact, I bet Optimus would have chosen you to become the next commander of the Autobots. <laughs> Me? As the new Autobot commander? I know it's what Optimus would have wanted. Really? Let's hear it for Hotshot! Hot Hotshot! Hotshot! Alright! Hotshot! Hot You're the man! You're the man! Thanks. I guess. Hotshot! Huh? I believe we have some unfinished business. Scavenger, you gotta leave him alone! It's over! <laughs> you didn't even flinch. Of course not! Yeah, you've got what it takes. Oh, <gasps> all right! Boy, I'm sure glad they're not fighting anymore. Me too. That was more local. And we're all friends again. Are we? hi -ya! <clears throat> Hey, what are you doing? That was just my blood sugar acting up. I'm sorry, Billy. Attention, Autobots! I hereby grant Hotshot the Matrix of the Commander. Oh, wait a minute. Hotshot's got a case of nerves. Just relax, bro. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, sorry about that, Commander. Would you all just lighten up, please? Why? What's wrong? Oh, no. Listen, this whole new Commander thing sounds too formal to me. My name's still Hotshot. I'll be the leader till we get back to Cybertron, and that's it, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a class act. Oh. And let's keep the Matrix of the Commander in a safe place for now. I don't think I'm quite ready to tackle that one just now, okay? Instead, let's keep Optimus close to our hearts. Alright? Right. Right. right! Hotshot's words put everything in perspective. Optimus might have vanished in space, but all of us would keep a piece of him in our hearts and minds. There was no denying it. The Autobots were back and ready for action! Okay, we're gonna follow the Decepticons back to planet Cybertron and liberate the last of the Minicons. So let's all get back to work! Yeah, let's do it! Right on! <laughs> Too bad Optimus isn't here, cause I know he'd love to be part of this mission. Our teamwork would make him really proud. And with a leader like Hotshot to guide us, I guarantee we'll be going all the way. We can't be beat. We're all in this together now, so let's complete this mission in honor of Optimus Prime. All right. Yo, Autobots, settle up! We're heading back to Planet Cybertron!
Thanks to Hotshot, morale was at an all-time high. I'm sure this mission would probably be the riskiest thing that they had ever done, but everyone was working so well together, it didn't matter. Hotshot took on his new role as leader of the Autobots with ease, and he made sure the spaceship was in excellent running condition. Everything had to be perfect for the Autobots' return to planet Cybertron.